Today, we're gonna review all of Bruce Willis's movies. No. What? Huh? There's that one that makes me cry. I don't want to talk about that one. Wait, which one? I don't want to say. I'm embarrassed. It's, it's not manly. Well, don't be embarrassed. Look, there's a team of jerks in Hollywood who dream up ways to make men cry. They use special formulas to target your man strings. So, fellas, watch out. There's certain movies out there that are designed to make you cry like a baby. <laughs> Number nine, Braveheart. Really bad stuff keeps happening to Mel Gibson in this film. He's Scottish, so he has to train with rocks. It keeps raining on him. They kill his dad, they kill his lady friend, they kill most of his other friends, friends they don't kill betray him, then they torture him, then they kill him. And then when you're all sad for Mr. Gibson, they do this. You have bled with Wallace! Now bleed with me! Number eight, the Iron Giant. You don't think this one's gonna be sad. It's a cartoon, and Vin Diesel and Harry Connick Jr. are in it. Then they do this! This is Vin Diesel's best work, if you ask me. Number seven, Brian Sloan. This one is really old. If you haven't seen it, don't see it. Billy Dee Williams and James Caan love each other like brothers. Then one of them gets sick, and he dies. This is Beaches for Men. Number six, The Natural. This movie should not make you cry. It's about baseball. Robert Redford's an amazing baseball player. And then he gets shot, and he's no good at baseball no more. And then his magical bat breaks in half, and then everything goes slow motion, and he hits a home run, and all the lights in the stadium explode. And then you cry. Number five, Conan the Barbarian. Conan just wants revenge. James Earl Jones killed his mom, his dad, and his girlfriend. So Arnold the Barbarian has a tender moment. Prom. I've never prayed to you before, and if you do not listen, then I hell with you. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, one flew over cuckoo's nest. Jack Nicholson is awesome. He's in the mental hospital, but he's not crazy. He tries to help the crazies. So the orderlies and doctors fry his brain, and now Jack Nicholson's a drooling vegetable. This is sad. So sad, a giant Native American Indian man breaks through the wall and runs to freedom. Number three, Mr. Smith goes to Washington. This one's so old, it's got Jimmy Stewart in it. Jimmy Stewart plays Mr. Jimmy Smith. He goes to Washington thinking he can help in the American government. But everyone in Congress is evil. He tries to do the right thing, and the evil congressmen tell him, no, everyone hates you, including your Boy Scouts. Mr. Jimmy Stewart Smith almost gives up, and then he doesn't, which is so beautiful it makes you cry. Then his body collapses and you cry again. Number two, Old Yeller. I don't even want to think about this one. And number one, The Love Guru. Mike Myers was once a very funny man. And if you watch The Love Guru, you'll actually see his career flushing down the toilet. Working nine to five, I, 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 I can't watch this. Taking and no giving, they just... I'm sorry, Ray. We got no choice. Ray. People will come, Ray. Come on, tell me the movie. What was the movie? The Bruce Willis movie that made you cry? Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs>